Hi, welcome to our workflow demo. Today I'm going to take you through our holiday and leave request form. So it's an automated system and this can be customised and tailored depending on your organisation's leave request procedure. So this is a very simple version of it. I'm going to just show you logged in as an employee um, first. So this is the this is a home page of the leave request form. So on the right hand side of the screen we've got the leave entitlement. And as I'm logged in as an employee, I can only see my own leave entitlement of 23 days. And on the left hand side, I've got the leave calendar where I can see everybody's uh, approved leave requests. And if I go into any of those requests, I don't have access to edit those. So it's read only view. The only thing I can do on the site is, is actually create a new leave request. So I can fill in the form. And again, this form depends on your particular requirements. So I'm going to book in two days off as this particular user um, and I've included the time on this as well because you might use it so employees can book maybe half a day off um, or they might just be four days. So I'm going to put in the amount of days requested and that does require somebody to manually check that form uh, when they go through the approval process. I can choose annual leave or sickness, illness and then it's up to my employer to decide whether to give me compassionate leave. So I put in a reason for my uh, leave request. So I'm just going to put booked holiday. And at the bottom there you've got cover um, required and that could um, create some branching logic and you could have some additional questions there if you wanted to. So I've saved that. And I can see now in the leave request in progress, I can see there's one leave request in there. And I've just switched over as an admin and I can see everybody's leave entitlements logged in as the manager. If I refresh a page, I should then see the leave request in progress that that employee just made, which you can see Susan's leave request there. And what that does is that sends an email to the line manager, which might be from Active Directory. Um, I'll show you how we can do that in a bit. And that gives me an email with all the relevant information. Again, these emails can be customised and you can decide which information is displayed on those emails. And at the bottom of the email is a link which takes you straight into the, the SharePoint site, straight into the item that you need to review. So I can see there's a few extra uh, columns in here now. I've got line manager approval where I can approve, reject it. I've got uh, what type of um, leave I want to grant, so just the annual allowance, I'm going to take it off their um, annual allowance amount or I could give them compassionate leave, I could put some notes if I wanted to to give them some feedback on my decision and then press save. So this again now runs workflow so it'll take a few seconds to appear inside SharePoint. You can see there's no more leave requests in progress. Um, the remaining days is still 23 days but in a few seconds that workflow will kick in and it will subtract those days if the user didn't have enough days um, already, it would automatically reject that holiday request um, or, or you could decide to uh, give them compassionate leave. So that's now gone down to 21 days and it's also been added to the read only calendar so that now is booked in permanently so other staff can see that Susan's booked a holiday for those two days. So when it comes to determining who a manager is of these employees, you could do it by a lookup list on the SharePoint site um, or if you've already got Active Directory you could use the Active Directory line manager field and that's all pulled into SharePoint so you can see who's manager of here. I can see I'm a manager of John and John is a manager of Susan and if you wanted to we could go up the chain and do a multi-stage multi approval process um, so that's entirely um, up to you and how your organisation works uh, how that will be implemented. Now the great thing about having it in SharePoint is you can always go back and you can review those previous requests, whether they're approved or rejected. You can see details for all of those, but again the employee can only see their own or you can decide to not, not let them see those at all if you wanted to. So it's just a, a quick basic SharePoint um, holiday or leave request workflow um, that you could implement just to streamline the admin work that you might have to do within your organisation. Hope you found that useful. Um, if you want to contact us, the details are on the screen now. You can contact us via the website or email and then we can get in touch with you and organise an online session just to look at your specific requirements in more detail. Thanks for watching the demonstration.